Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and I have good news. I completely sideloaded the Pandy tweak over onto from one device to another, and uh, I sideloaded it using iExplorer. That's the program you see here, right in the middle. Uh, what you can do is actually get root access to any jailbroken phone. Uh, here I have, for example, an iPhone 5, which is mine, and in which I got the Pandy app through Cydia for free when it was available. Unfortunately, the developer uh, pulled the uh, tweak because it was controversial. Maybe it was unlawful. I have no idea why. All I know is a lot of people who didn't get a chance to grab it got upset. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to side load it, meaning to take all the files that you need from one device and put it over into another device that you own. And uh, maybe you, a friend has it and you don't, and I'll show you how to get it. So basically, here's root of my wife's phone, uh, where you, when you jailbreak, you get root access, uh, where you can you know, play with the files inside. Um, there's also a way to do it from your device using iFile. And uh, first, let me show you a little bit about what Pandy is, in case you're trying to understand what I'm telling you. Uh, if you, I'll show you on both devices. Of course, I'm gonna drop the uh, pause the the sound because I want to show you without distraction of music. So here it says tap to import, swipe to dismiss. Now that's a settings app inside Pandy, and um, what you can do is you just swipe if you don't like that song and you want to go on to the next song, and you didn't save it into your iPod app. But if you do want the song, you can pretty much tap the song. And you'll see this little spinning thing here. And then this song will be imported instantly into your iPod app, in which you can connect it to the computer via the sync cable and sync that song right into your personal library collection um, for free. And uh, you can see why. Maybe they pulled the app. It says song imported. So now when you go on to the next song, I'll just show you real quick. We'll pause that. We'll go to the next song. Pause that. Now you see uh, receiving. I, I must have hit this too many times. All right, so you pause that. And you see song already exists. Oh, that's why. And this one says tap to import. So we're it. Now remember this guy's face, because I'll show you right now in iPod that it does import right to your iPod app. So let's close this out, and I'll show you on here. See, this is the orange app that comes. And I got tons and tons of songs already. Uh, the song was imported, so let's go now. My wife doesn't have many, but she did want this app because she wants to record songs. So we have that guy that we just imported. There goes the song right there, and you could turn and play that song. I'm not going to play it, of course. So there it is. We have the song with album artwork and everything. I would show you how to hook it up to iTunes, but you pretty much know how to sync songs from purchased songs to your iTunes. Now the reason why I got all these other apps here is you can do this on iFile. And iFile is a file system just like the one you see here on the desktop I explore. And you, of course you know Pandy, you know the app. And I'm going to show you Insidia some things and settings just to prove to you that this was a side-loaded uh, tweak. And uh, first of all let me just show you you should get Pandora Download or another tweak. And but that will enable you to have an account that's more like the Pandora Pro account where there's no ads, no video ads, unlimited skips, and all that stuff. So that's helpful when you're trying to build your music collection, of course. So let's come out of that. Now just to show you settings, the only downfall with this is that you have to stick with the tap to uh, X, uh, import and swipe to dismiss, which is not a big problem because that's the better of the two. If you took a toggle off, let me just show you the toggle first so you know what I'm talking about. So when you put a tweak into your phone, you sort of get a settings app in there. So we'll click the settings app. Now you notice on the iPhone 4 here on my right that there is no settings for the Pandy. And that's because I couldn't emulate that uh, when I transferred all the files over. But no big deal because we're, we're on the toggle that we want. See this toggle here? If it's on, you tap to import or swipe to dismiss if you turn that off you're going to import every song so that's bad in my eyes i don't want to import every song i want to tap the ones that i want so b 
being that I took the file from here, it's telling this phone that you have to stay with uh, tapping to import. So no big deal. All right, so what? We can't, we don't have a settings app. Not a big deal. The app still works at 100%. So who cares? All right. Another way to prove to you that I side loaded this is that in Cydia, when you install an app, it, it lists the app in your devices. It lists it in your packages here. And you, here you have it in packages. All right. So if we scroll down here and to P, you'll see that I have Pandy as one of my installed apps. But you notice on here in P that I do not have it. I have, don't have Pandy because I sideloaded it and there's no management of apps when you sideload something. So pretty much this phone was legitly installing Pandy. This one was sideloaded, okay? There's no other way that I can prove to you that I did it, but I did do it. And I made some previous videos that I'm going to keep up on YouTube so I could show you at the time there was no Pandy on this device. So there you have it. I have Pandy sideloaded on there. Now let's move to the screen of the Mac and I'll show you some things. So I listed out some of these folders here. I made some stickies and I pretty much told you all the places that you have to place different files on each device. They have to be in the exact same place. They have to have the same capitalization. They have to have, you know, one app copied and pasted into a folder. And then these have to be pasted onto the new device. So basically, let me show you an example of what you have to do. I left this as a reference here. These two folders are not on this list on the left because I found these later on. And that's what made the magic happen. Uh, there are some hidden uh, files that are placed in when you install Pandy and they were placed inside the private var folder uh, But let's show you start from scratch So the first place that Pandy puts oh by the way when you when you have Pandy take a look at the iPhone 5 again I, I have to tell you this uh, every tweak and app that you install on from Cydia to your iPhone or iDevice it pretty much will give you an idea of where these things will be placed. And uh, I don't know, a lot of people may not know this, but like in Pandy, if you scroll down to file system, you'll see it tells you exactly where everything is going to be placed. Of course, there was three files that were placed, maybe more, three or four more files. I'm going to keep searching, but three or four more files that were placed on this device when they installed Pandy that were listed in this list but if you get the majority of the files that you need pulling it from one device to the other you basically the list is here of where they go they go into library application support and then pandy and that's this folder here and then these two files go into it so just pull these from the original device and paste them in and i'll show you how to do that so we put everything on the Mac just to manage everything. And you see the two files here. I'll show you where I got them. So if we basically, everything is going to basically take place in two folders in this file system. It's going to be either library or it's going to be private. So if we go into library and we scroll to uh, the first place that we need, application support. You open up application support. And then we find the Pandy folder. And on the original device, you will have a Pandy folder because when you installed it in Cydia, it made, it created a Pandy folder. But on your new device, you will not have a Pandy folder. And all you have to do is make one. And that's what I did. I made one here on the desktop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my wife's phone, go into library and go into, I'm not going to show you every single step, but just learn from this step and move from there take the chance take the plunge you want some free songs in Pandora and you want to import them into your iTunes then you're gonna go and do this so here you have the two files all you have to do is you basically this folder wasn't here I created it so basically you just right mouse button new folder and you make a new folder and you make sure you have the capitalization right and everything then you just take the two files 
and you will place them in. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, you make the folder. So that's how you make the folder. But now if you go into the rooted device, let's just make pretend this is the iPhone 5 and you get to this area here, you just pretty much do a shift or a control or a command and you grab these two folders, highlight it and you just right mouse button and you export to folder. When you export to folder, it will open up a finder or a dialog or an explorer and you go and look for that Pandy folder that you created on the desktop and you pop that open and you throw them right in there you hit export and they go in here and that's pretty much it with that I'm gonna hit cancel because I already got them in there so now you have the Pandy with the two folders you do the same with all of these folders you create all these folders ahead of time and you throw these private ones that were hidden uh, from on this list and you put them into the folders that you need to put them in you restart your device your iOS device after you're done and you open it up click on Pandora open it up and guess what you're gonna tap to import and you're gonna swipe to dismiss I'm telling you it works and you can do it I would make these files available on like a Dropbox but don't ask because this is in my eyes unlawful you know I might get in trouble for doing that that's the only reason I want to help out some friends of course but I downloaded this tweak to use if it's illegal I don't want to get involved so please don't ask me to send you my backup file now I did I do recommend you do make a backup file see I made a backup file here being that we have six folders I made six folders I took all the little files that you needed to put in and you put them in. I made these stickies into text so it reminds me where I have to put them and then I put the text in there too. So now I have this backed up completely packaged up for myself. I'm going to zip it up and put it on a hard drive, external hard drive and if I ever lose Pandy I could uh, just go and you know get it back. No big deal. The other thing I recommend is do not upgrade on iTunes your Pandora 4.2 kills this tweak you have to stay on 4.1 or lesser and if you made the mistake of upgrading before you install Pandy you should go into iTunes okay we'll go into iTunes we'll go into apps and I just want to show you this the apps and then if you type in Pandora you type in Pandora radio these are installed apps now you see Pandora here say this is 4.2 you right mouse button and you show in finder and it will show you where it's stored on your computer Now notice I have 4.1.1 and I'm staying there I'm not going to 4.1.2 or whatever it is and if you did by accident, you can delete it, move it to the trash, and then take a backed up version of your, take a backed up version, I placed mine into that folder, and you take that backed up version and you throw it back into iTunes, and then resync your phone, and you'll get 4.1.1 back. And then you apply this process to get your pain so that was today's video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps you hopes gives you hope that you can get pandy back again if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them so I hope you subscribe I'm gonna make more and more videos like this I appreciate you watching sorry such a long video but there's a lot to talk about here and like I said in the end result have Parrot Pandy on your iOS device. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.